म्यूचुअल फंड टाइप बेस्ड ऑन फंड्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर ए एम सी कैन लॉन्च ए स्कीम इन विच ए एम सी कैन ऑर्गेनाइज देम सेल्फ इन सच ए वे दैट पोस्ट एन एफ ओ ए एम सी कैन अलाउ इन्वेस्टर्स टू सब्सक्राइब और रिडीम म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट्स फ्रॉम दैम और दे कैन ऑर्गेनाइज देम सेल्फ डिफरेंटली इन दिस कैटेगरी म्यूचुअल फंड कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स ओपन एंडेड फंड क्लोज एंडेड फंड्स एंड इंटरवेल फंड ओपन एंडेड फंड Open ended schemes are those funds in which even after NFO new fund offer period investors can subscribe or redeem the mutual fund from AMC for the understanding purpose understand open end as something which has no end since the end is not closed it means there is no maturity date for the open ended funds new investors can subscribe the funds as well as the existing investors can redeem their funds from amc due to this nature the unit capital of this type of fund gets changed regularly because addition of new subscriber or redeem by existing subscriber when existing investors or the new investors buy or we can say subscribe the units of open ended scheme is called sale transaction this is important normally we say that investor is buying mutual fund but when it comes to technical term it is called sale transaction from the investor perspective it is not a sale transaction because investor is not selling something but it is a buy transaction for investor so for the mutual fund to avoid any confusion you need to understand this from amc perspective so for amc it is selling so it is called sale transaction when existing investors redeems units of open ended schemes is called repurchase transaction again same thing that when investor is redeeming investor is not repurchasing anything so here also for understanding we need to understand it from amc perspective amc is repurchasing the units from existing investors so it makes sense to term it as repurchase transaction so remember this sell transaction and repurchase transaction this is very important close ended funds close ended schemes are those funds in which after nfo investors cannot subscribe or redeem the mutual fund from amc for the understanding purpose understand close ended means something which has a definite end it means close ended funds comes with a maturity date so after nfo period investors cannot subscribe redeem mutual fund unit from amc so here there is two question if new investors want to subscribe or the existing investors intends to redeem the funds then how it will happen as per sebi's mutual fund regulation amcs are required to list the close ended mutual funds in stock exchange it means after nfo close ended mutual funds will be listed in stock exchanges as in the open ended scheme when new investors request to subscribe units of the open ended scheme amc creates new units but in case of the close ended schemes such option is not there since close ended fund comes with a fixed maturity date so investors who bought the units of close ended funds at the time of nfo has to compulsorily redeem at the time of maturity however if they want to redeem before the maturity date then they need to sell it in the stock exchange if there will be buyer then only trade will take place similarly if a new investor wants to buy the units of the close ended schemes after an fo period then they need to find the seller who already holds the unit it is the reason why close ended schemes are not so liquid as against open ended scheme so here it is important term that is called liquidity so when it comes to liquidity open ended schemes are more liquid than close ended scheme why because in open ended schemes investors directly interact with amc but in case of close ended schemes after an fo period it is stock exchange from there new investors can buy units if there is a investor who wants to sell his or 
existing units similarly if existing unit holder wants to sell his or her units then they need to find buyers if buyers are not there then trade will not take place so you need to be very careful when you want to buy close ended scheme then comes interval funds interval funds comes in between of open ended funds and close ended funds meaning interval funds combine the features of the open ended schemes and close ended scheme interval funds are largely close ended schemes but they become open ended schemes during the pre specified time there could be a question if there is already open ended schemes and close ended schemes then why interval funds are needed these interval funds are basically to increase the liquidity as i told that these interval funds are mostly close ended fund so if any investor who wants to exit from funds then interval funds give opportunity to them because for certain period interval funds becomes open ended scheme and as we know open ended schemes feature is that investor can interact directly with amc so the period when interval fund becomes an open ended scheme is called transaction period as its name says transactions means investor can do some transaction directly with amc as per sebi's mutual fund regulation transaction period has to be a minimum of 2 days the period when interval fund behaves as a close ended schemes is called an interval period as per sebi's mutual funds regulation interval period should be a minimum of 15 days as in close ended funds investors need to rely on stock exchanges to buy or sell of units interval funds reduce this liquidity concern by allowing the investors to subscribe new units or redeem existing units during transaction period of interval funds let's see it in a picture here in this diagram you can see that first block is for new fund offer so it has certain period nfo period and then after it will be interval period so interval period it would be minimum 15 days in a year here important is minimum 15 days it is possible that it can be out of 365 days it could be 360 days or up till 363 days interval period is possible and then after transaction period so this transaction period when interval fund becomes open ended fund and investors can buy or sell their units directly from amc so this transaction period is minimum two working days so in a year two working days would be transaction period for interval funds and then it will follow again interval period and then transaction period and so on till maturity so as a investor if you have concern on liquidity then the suggestion would be to go with open ended fund wherein it is possible to buy or sell new units or in technical term if i say then it is possible to have sell transaction and repurchase transaction of units directly from amc